Hey guys, what's up? It's Altitronic here, and today I'm doing a little bit of a tutorial type thing. So, uh, as most of my subscribers already know, uh, I just changed my channel art yesterday, and I realized that not a lot of people actually know how to create um, channel art, or like know the presets to make a channel art, know how know how to set the dimensions for it and make it accurate on all devices. Um, so I thought why not do a tutorial on this because it's a it's a pretty simple thing but at sometimes it does get a little bit confusing. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be uh, starting off here. Um, you're gonna need a program like Photoshop. I have Photoshop CC or CS7, whatever you want to call it. But you can use uh, other programs as long as you can change the dimension of your canvas and yeah, that's pretty much it. And just save your image to your desktop, and you, you just plop it right in. So, anyway, um, yeah, let's just get right started. Actually, before we do this, I want to show you guys there is a uh, a page that YouTube has uh, that kind of shows the guidelines for making channel art, the what dimensions you want to have, but it's it's probably gonna be easier just to watch this video I, I, I wouldn't say this would help too much uh, but if you want to look at this it is in the description if this video uh, is too confusing I would say this is actually more confusing so many letters <laughs> anyway so yeah there's that um, but yeah let's just jump right in here uh, so what you're gonna want to do here first is uh, make a new project <coughs> sorry uh, let's just call this a uh, channel so you're gonna want the dimensions to be what I have them right now so you can just pause the video for a sec and copy them down in your program you're gonna want the width to be 200 uh, 2000 sorry 2120 pixels and the height to be 350 pixels of course everything else is normal 8-bit uh, RGB and 72 resolution uh, make sure this is by pixels not inches or any other any any other one of these uh, units so uh, yeah so background contents transparent so basically just copy everything I have here and you'll be good to go 350 pixels as a height and 200 to uh, 2120 as a width so you can just click OK once you have that all done it's gonna pop up here and yeah so as you can see here I have the color green selected because you're gonna want to color this any any color you could color this any color but you're not actually designing your um, channel art yet so you could color this green blue purple pink whatever doesn't matter any color except for uh, black because black does not does not work okay um, so this is to tell the difference between uh, to the top section and the bottom section of um, between the middle the middle is going to be the section that you see, um, the YouTube art that you see when you're on a desktop. So as you can see here, it's the same it's the same width and height as my channel art, as you can see here, Ultratronic Gaming. Uh, yeah, that's 2 to 2120 um, pixels wide and 350 tall. So um, you might be wondering what about if you're going to watch watch uh, or like go on someone's channel on a TV or like a different device like a phone or something so what you're want, gonna want to do here after you have changed the color of this you want to you're gonna want to go into image canvas size and make sure you have pixels selected then you're gonna want to change height from 350 to 1192 so you press click OK and these two sections are what's going to be on a uh, TV. So you could start off by just coloring these. I don't know. Let's just um, let's say you want it. You want to have this art on the desktop and these this on your uh, TV. You're also going to have these parts on mobile devices. So make sure to put something over here. Um, but yeah. Uh, so, uh, you could uh, just design whatever you really want now. This is going to be the desktop version, so I could just put in put in Ultitronic here. Uh, let's just wait for that to pop up. Um, I could just put in Ultitronic. 
let's just make this, I don't know, orange. Because that's kind of the color I use for my channel. We could uh, click... Uh, uh, now, you, you can click Control uh, and then T to resize things. So let's just make this bigger. And boom, there you have it. That's that's uh, that's my desktop channel art. So yeah, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Um, just it's a pretty wide boundary actually. Like honestly, 220, uh, 2,120 pixels is quite a lot to work with. It's uh, definitely a lot. Um, yeah, and also this is the TV part right here. If someone's gonna watch your uh, look at your channel on a TV. You could uh, just do that again. You could just make it look identical. Electronic. Control T. And just resize that. That's what people on TVs are going to see. Oops, I just kind of messed up the dimensions there. Uh, yeah, so you just drag that right in. Um, we could just do that again. Up on here. So let's just do Ultitronic and resize, control T. Uh, make sure you uh, press shift while you're doing that or else it's going to mess up the, it's going to distort your uh, text or your image or whatever you want to put on your channel art. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is what people on TVs are going to see. Um, this is what people on desktops or mobile devices are going to see, like tablets and phones. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So, as you can see here, there's nothing else really to do. Uh, apply. So now, all we really need to do is save as. And let's wait for that to pop up. Let's just save it as, um, let's just save it as channel tutorial. Save it as a JPEG image to your desktop or wherever you really want to save it. Let's, let's do that. Okay. And let's just get our image here. Uh, so we have our image right here. Now if you want to change it then you're gonna click this little pencil up in the right hand corner of your channel art. You're gonna click edit channel art and uh, just make uh, that window a bit smaller and drag it right in. So as you can see now, um, just wait for it. Um, there we go. That's that's basically what your channel art is going to look like on a TV. Uh, that's the top of it. Uh, this is what it's going to look like on mobile and this is what it's going to look like on desktop. So let's click select here and Boom, there we go. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. That's uh, basically how to make a channel art. I know a lot of people already know this. It's pretty simple. But I was just making this uh, just to tell people. I know it's a bit late. YouTube made this uh, format, channel art format, quite a while ago. But, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, um, I hope this helped. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye.